in the previous episode, we attempted to kill Lord Farquaad, Lord, Lord, Lord Gordash. That's his name, <laughs> whatever. It's the same thing. Um, and I just brought down the whole, whole fortress on me. And you know what? I think that upon taking a couple of days and thinking about this fight, uh, I would be able to do it, but it would require significant cheesing. And in fact, the way I would do it is by coming out onto this deck over here and then leading everything out there with me. <clears throat> the problem is that's really difficult to do. And we could certainly try it, but at the end of the day, I think it's better to just say, you know what? We're, we're going to take the hint from the game. I will give you time to reconsider. Yeah, well, Try we'll take carefully. the hint. Remember, you must do what it takes to survive, even if it means striking a deal with the enemy. See, we're not going to strike the deal. It's not what our character would do. Um, yeah, you're you're on your own right now. Oh, but I most certainly am not. Now, come, be witness, as I make history. As the first Archduke of Baldur's Gate. Um. God, I really don't want. <laughs> I mean, we did just save. I could just try to kill him. <sighs> I, ah, damn it. <laughs> this is how much I and my character both hate this. This character. <sighs> can we can we head to her real quick? <clears throat> and can we just like... Take all these nerds out this way. I feel like this is better. What's the story? So Carlax out there. I gotta bring Asterian out here. In fact, Asterian would do quite well up on top there, I think. Maybe even um Shadowheart. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try it one more time. We'll see how this goes. I doubt it'll be great. <laughs> but we are gonna attempt it. Does he not have like any kind of can I jump up here? Not enough space. Can't jump there. This is a shame. This is a restricted area. Hey, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. To explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Oh my goodness! Just, just reload. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother with that. I, there's got to be a way to be able to get him up there without flying. Yeah, I just don't think that would be worth it. And I did save. With some of my buffs, I don't really have to worry about rebuffing everybody, right? I gotta consider that. I just don't want to see Lord Gortash become a, a lord, right? Like, I just, my character despises that, and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> I want him to die before that ever becomes the case. But it's gonna require a lot of luck and a lot of work. Like I said, I've been considering this for several days of how I would do this. This room off on the side is the key. For sure. 100% is the key. Um, what's this? Uh, Treading Twilight. While remained obscured. Blah, blah, blah. It's plus one bonus to AC. It's pretty good. I feel like I have to get Asterion up here somehow. So we just we just have to use some kind of... Yeah, scroll of Misty Step. Sure. Let's see that. Can he pop up here? Pew. There he goes. Which allows him to hop on this ladder. Oh, goodness. There's a Steel Watcher up here. Yeah, that would be pretty bad to have a Steel Watcher suddenly attacking us <laughs> from up here. I mean, it would be great if he could be up here and, like, take some pot shots, but... Um, I don't want that Steel Watcher suddenly also becoming in combat with us. I think it's safer to just bring him down one level. That might be the way to do that. Um, though, he needs to be... Path is interrupted. Of course it is. He needs to be like right here. Okay, and <clears throat> he can just stay there. Uh, let's move Shadowheart and, and Carlac. They both have to move in over here. And Carlac, cool. Yeah, I think this is the way to do this. This is a restricted I, area. I know. Time to explain yourself, or this guard will be restricting you to a cell. Well. Funnily I'll enough, give you time to tread carefully. we could go ahead and okay, I'm ending this here, blah blah blah. We can all go into combat. Carlac can also do her thing. Attack, okay. <laughs> May as well add her in, right? I'm gonna be very curious to see. 
Oh, he saved the debilitating shot, which is really good. I need him to make all of his saves here. He's at the end. I'm gonna have to re. I'm gonna have to reload. There's, there's absolutely no way. We have to reload. He can't be at the end. Goodness. Because I need him to be able to make his save. Um, and run immediately into there. I'm curious what all of these dudes are going to do. We're, we're playing this out just because I want to see what all of these guys do as my guy just lays there and dies. I mean, he's, yeah, he's almost dead. Who else gets to go? Literally everybody. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and reload. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> I hate this so much. The, like I said, the only way to do this is with luck and with quite a bit of cheese. Um, the luck definitely comes in with not getting bottom of the initiative right off the bat, right? Like that's, that's pretty bad. Like he rolled so bad that he was at the end. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. But Hey, we know now that we can get Asterion up on top. That's kind of the goal. I got to work a little quicker than I just did. And then we got to quickly get Carlac and Shadowheart in the room too. And once we do that, we can save again and then get in there. So, Let's go ahead and get her here, get her here, and we can get him over here so he can misty step up to, it's gonna work. Misty step up to here. Okay. I'm hoping him being up here means that he's gonna be kind of out of line of sight. That would be the goal. All right, let's re-save. Go back to him. Blah, blah, blah. I'm ending this here. All right. Do we get a better roll? Slightly. That's bad. You know what? Goodness. I wish I could pause like their actions. Oh, <laughs> I got <laughs> Relentless Avenger on that one. I kind of want to get in there with Shadowheart and like haste him. But he is currently maimed. Movement speed reduced to zero, has disadvantage. Yeah, there's gotta be a better way to get him into that room and out of combat. Or not even like out of combat, just like way higher initiative. Do I have like a, I don't know. I, I don't think the haste will give him initiative. That's the thing. We have to enter turn base mode as soon as we get in. Otherwise that card is going to come in here and be all pissed off with us. Though that may not be a bad thing. I could just kill the card off real quick. That's a, that's a consideration. Though I think by killing the guard, everybody else can get pissed off at us. Another thing to consider, I guess. I mean, we could try it. Let's quickly, while, while we're waiting for her to show up, let's let's check. Let's um see. So scroll blur, disadvantage on attack rolls. Can I type like initiative? No. Anything with it? No. Okay. So he don't have nothing. What about oh, my paladin? I don't think he has anything. Greater invisibility. I mean, I could straight up give him invisibility. Uh, scroll of knock, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't. Okay, here she comes. This is a restricted area. Attack her. <clears throat> let's see. Is it just combat with them? It is. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and shoot her. Well, well. Look what we have here. Nice, gave her Bane. <laughs> I'll take it. And she gets one more attack if I rage, but I'm just gonna move her over here. Little Shatterheart walk out and Flame Strike. Sacred Flame, probably. Made the save, that's unfortunate. Okay, and then uh, uh, Asterion can pop in over here. He needs advantage, which he does not have. Path is interrupted. 
Oh, it's so annoying. Oh my goodness, she's like right out of range. That's good to know, I guess. But we'll sneak him. Right, turn and turn. All right, come here, guard. We're gonna save after this damn guard gets out here. She just like flew. Critical miss. Yes, that's what we want to see. Shield blow. I want to see like nobody take damage here. All right, let's swap back to melee. Smack her. And again. Make it relentless. Or reckless, rather. Um, let's... Does she have anything else I could do? No. Let's uh, go to Asterion. Could pop in over here. Get the advantage. Almost killed her. Let's check with Shadowheart. She can hit her and kill her. Or miss completely. Great. I'm not recasting my spell, so I'll just enter in. I'm not, I'm not wasting stuff here. It's fine. Critical hit and a hit. I can, I can top her off. I'm not worried about that. I just, it's going to take resources that I don't want to use. Okay, so. What am I to do? Uh, how do I want to top her off? Probably with all of those crazy potions that I bought, right? Where is it? I know I have a bunch of healing potions. There, there are 15 of them, yeah. Drink one, drink two. Get her all topped off. Okay, now we resave. I think it's wise to have Carlac like here and then maybe Shadowheart just a bit closer. That's a problem, like I want to move my guy. Um, touch a creature and turn it invisible. Attacks have disadvantage against it. It attacks with advantage. What if I do that? What if I... There's a conversation nearby. Crap. Can I... <laughs> can I turn him invisible during the conversation? Got it. Alright, you get it over here. Okay, cool. We're gonna swap to him real quick. I will give you... Tread carefully. <laughs> I don't know. Is this gonna work? You will see sense, and you will return to me when you do. Bring Orange Netherstone with you. What's going Come on? Without it, and my lord's wrath will be loosed. Aha! Aha! We we managed to do it without That's seeing him become a duders. <laughs> okay, I like that. F five. I mean, I still might be able to to like get into combat, right? But maybe, maybe like with Karlak, who typically has better... Can she, uh... I'm, I'm gonna try this. Oh, that's so stupid, but I'm gonna try it. No, stop getting interrupted. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Karlak. All right, Asterion and Shadowheart are now in. My Paladin's not yet. I could get him in here. I probably should. Can I enter turn-based mode? Thank you. All right. Um, I want to let the rest of them go and just keep him <laughs> hidden. If I could do that. I don't know. Is the game going to let me do that? This feels cheesy, right? Who's, whose turn is it? Oh, right, right. It's like, hey, it's not your turn, buddy. I just want all of them to go so we can get my team to where they need to be. We can set up some grease at the doorway, right? Doorways, even. I could throw grease bottles like twice. I could throw one here and one here and really slow them down as they come through. <laughs> so stupid. This is not gonna work. Critical miss, okay. I'll take that bit of luck, right? We wanted the bit of luck. She gets to go soon. If I can keep my paladin in just a sneaky way here, Cause he's gonna be like at the end of the freaking initiative anyway. So I gotta go like, I gotta go with him like around Asterion's turn. Um, provokes opportunity attacks. Yeah. If I casted like a scroll, it's a bonus action for Misty Step. So I'm gonna send this to Karlak. 
Um, I'm going to get in here with a couple attacks, and then I'm going to Misty Step, I think. Why doesn't she have an action? Okay, so it's not even worth doing that. So I just need to cast and get over here. And then move her over here. Yep. Cool. Um, and I can't throw anything, right? Can't use anything. I need, I need a bonus action. Cool. Okay, so we're going to end turn. We're going to let all of these nerds run to me. To the hot gates. If this works, <laughs> I'm going to be very happy. Because they also can't move through each other, right? So we're going to get ourselves into a situation where these stupid robots are kind of hogging the door space and they can't get in. That'd be really nice. Having my paladin just sitting here waiting in stealth and in invisibility is like stupid, but insanely cool. All right, he's gone and buffed them. We knew he was going to do that. We've seen him do that. I mean, if I could get my paladin over to Gortash. What? How is he getting shot? What the hell? Did he just get shot through that window? That's bullcrap. I need to move him off over here so he's not in range, of course. Uh, must have advantage, of course. Yeah. Well, bonus action, can I throw? Um, grease bottle. No, it's an, it is an action. What is it? Uh, flammable grease surface creatures walking in it have halved movement speed and can fall prone. I feel like we need to do this. I don't need to do damage right now, but I need to have some form of greasing it up, baby. Um, he's got some bonus action attacks and stuff he could do. But mostly I'm just going to hide him. Really? Nothing? Oh, come on. All right, end his turn. It's about now that I'm going to consider, like, what I want to do with my paladin. I can move him in here to Gortash. If those two ranger dudes out here move around, I think I just save my paladin for Gortash and just go all in. Because he's just sitting there hidden. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Didn't realize that that could even be a possibility. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? Fern Hollow. This is this is the fight of the century over here. Okay, so Shadowheart has a lot of options here. Um This insect plague lasts for 10 turns. That is really good. Um, so my guy I've got a long road ahead. has some things he can do, such as getting the heck out of the way. At the ready. So he can sit and wait. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. So that way she can get over here and insect plague on the inside here. Maybe like, like there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, and then she can get out of line of sight. That way everything that wants to come to us has to do something as far as a save. Um, it also means that my paladin... All's well that ends. Oh, not as bad as it could have. I mean, if I click heals, I think I just save him right now. I think I just save his turn. His quote unquote turn, right, yeah. <laughs> All right, she's gonna end her turn. What's gonna happen with all this? Who is this guy? He's gonna chill. Duke Ulder Ravenguard. Everybody's dashing. Everybody's getting in here. That that locust swarm lasts for ten turns. I just need Shadowheart to stay out of line of sight and not get hit. Let everything run into it. Let him get slowed. He's immune to being prone, but he's taking some damage. Now now we can get uh, Karlak in the action here. Oh, Karlak really needs to keep the save, right? Because it's concentration she has on my paladin. Oh, crap. I didn't consider that. I really need to, like, get him in where I need him to go ASAP. Making their saves. They are taking quite a bit of damage. Remember, they have 206 health. This one's... I haven't even touched him. He's at 181. 
That insect plague, OP, so good. And that's not the only thing Shadowheart can do. Shadowheart could, you know, get a new spell slot and get in there, right? Because she's got the recovery, so she could bonus action another level five slot when I need it. Oh my goodness, roll with advantage, please. <laughs> yeah, don't get pulled. All right, Carlac's turn. Uh, she would like to rage for sure. Oh no, I forgot by raging it breaks invisibility. All right, that's fine. I think that's actually fine. Um, let's just get in here. What? How is that an attack of opportunity on her right now? That's so stupid. Reckless. Okay, attack again. Cool, we're gonna, right, where's her? Oh, she can't do the frenzied because it's a bonus action. That's right. Um, apparently I can move here. So that's pretty good. Just did a bunch of damage. That guy's got Bane. Um, I can end turn for her. My paladin is now in combat. So he gets he gets all sorts of things that he could do. Oh, what? He just got hit. Isn't it his turn? Hold on. Why is he being hit? Charm. Okay, can he, like, Misty Step? Oh, the game is, like, super broken here. Misty Step, boy, get out of there. Just get out of there. No, don't, don't go that full distance. All right, cool. Everybody else is going, apparently. <laughs> can I lay on hands, maybe? That actually may not be a bad idea. Heal yourself, my guy. Cool. Um, does he have a bonus action? No, he used his bonus action. Okay. I guess I gotta swap back to him. He's gotta finish his turn off before it actually gets to him. Um I don't know, being in melee here is not a bad idea. I could also fly up if I like have to. End his turn. Obviously things get a little wonky, right? Okay, let us attack this guy. Phew. 26 damage. I can live with that. Now he has two bonus actions. There's not a whole lot he could do with bonus actions. Um, are there any like buffs he could do? Coat your active weapon with poison. Targets must succeed on a constitution saving throw or be, uh, become poisoned and fall asleep. I mean, that's pretty good, isn't it? I think, I think maybe we do that. It's a coat weapon. Yeah. Let's move back over here. Let's try to hide him. All right, that one worked. End turn. <laughs> this is fascinating watching this happen. Like, Shadowheart just has to hang out here and not get hit. The problem is both of my nerds are sitting here in a situation that is going to cause them to get hit by this guy when he goes. And when he goes and he hits them, he might break her concentration. If he breaks her concentration, our amazing insect plague is going to break down, which is not great. Um, hmm. I mean, shoot. Oh, it won't let me do this. Right. Okay. So I remember. I think. I mean, Guardian of Faith is not a concentration spell. Hmm. Interesting. I have to consider her turn pretty heavily. There's not a lot she can actually do here. Unfortunately. I mean, I could Guardian of Faith and see how that goes. Just do a little extra damage, you know? Um, I could put the guardian like here. Um, we can also healing word my duders, top them off. It's the easy level one heal there. 
Okay, uh, yeah, let's, um... Let's move her in a way that she's not gonna get smacked. So if he attacks, it should miss her. I really need her insect swarm to stay up. Yes, go into the swarm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shadowheart is doing the most amount of damage on our team right now. Just because everything is getting hit by that. She made the save on the insect flake, but she's taking damage, right? Like all of this stuff is just free damage for us. Cool, that's fine. You hit both of them, don't hit Shadowheart. <laughs> this Steel Watcher is going to go down. I'm gonna start blowing up. Ooh, they both got hit by that main. All right, so Shadowheart has to use her restoration spell. The, like big heal. Man, the slow has been so good. Oh my goodness, he's almost dead. They are not rolling well on their saves, but he is knocked prone, so it's not like he, it's not like he can. The rest of these guys are so far back, so it'll get to Carlac's turn, or it should get to Carlac's turn before they get all here. Oh my goodness, three health, that sucks. Who's, whose turn is it? It's not showing me what's going on here. I'm right, trying to pull him. Okay, he's, he's, Asterion's in a good spot right now, I'll tell you what. Okay, so, um, Shadowheart is currently immobilized. I hate that, it's so annoying. Um, I can get him up. That's going to take her action. But at least now he's not pinned. So he's not taking a bunch of stupid damage. I can actually throw the healing potion at him. So let's do that. Oh, I can't because it's a bonus action. Wait, no, it, it is an action to throw. Can she not like enraged throw? So I can pick up an item or creature or throw it at her. Dealing additional damage, knocking it prone. I mean, does she have anything she can actually throw? Mm, not really. I mean, I could throw this at my guy. Let's try it. There we go. I didn't realize she could enrage throw it. Healing potion. I don't care. It works for me. Oh, she lost her frenzied because she quote unquote didn't attack that turn. That's stupid. That was attack. It was an enraged throw. Just because she didn't do damage. This guy's just like stuck. I'm totally okay with that. They don't know what to do because there's too many people on that door. Ugh, there's a lot of rangers getting out in the spot where they can shoot a Starion and everything though. That's not great. All right, Guardian of Faith taking some hits. That's fine. Totally fine with that. Just absorbing damage. It's totally worth a level four spell slot. Where is Gortash? Gortash is such a wimp. He's just hanging out in the back letting his you know, little army do his job. Get over here and fight me like a man. Nice. Okay. So, what do we do with Asterion here? Um, I can definitely hit this Watcher, but is that what I want to do? I mean, coming up is Shadowheart's turn. And my Paladin. It might be worth it to get him as low as possible so when he does blow up, they can all move. Um, I don't want to burn the grease. I want the grease to stay there. I think, I think, yeah. I think I just make a ranged attack. All right, he's got drow poison, whatever. Uh, I'm going to move him and hide him. Let's find some prey. That's what we're going to keep doing with Asterion. Now, annoyingly, I think it's my dude's turn, maybe. Because it shows like on, I don't know, it, that was weird. The way that it's like displaying it. Yeah, like he hasn't gone. Uh, now is he like in the initiative? Is that what that was? That might be what it is. Yeah, now they're all going. So now Shadowheart can go and heal and essentially top him off. She can she can get a pretty big heal right now. Okay. Um, 
We can do preserve life. Or I could hit him with like... Yeah, cure wounds isn't enough. Aid isn't going to do it. Mass healing word, not going to do it. What's her other spell that she's got? Mass cure wounds. Yeah, she doesn't, she's not going to use that one. I think, I think just hitting preserve life is probably the best option here. And then doing a, a healing word level three. Take your just getting him as high on life as possible. And then I'm totally okay with just moving her. <laughs> Keeping her as far out of range as possible. Oh no, she blew all that up. Crap. That stupid fire elemental. And I can't throw more. Crap, now everybody's getting in. I can't throw more grease there because it'll just blow up. It's also kind of a waste of an action at the moment. And that. That RNG was really helpful just now. We need this Steel Watcher to go down. No, no, don't jump over to freaking her. Stop that. Oh my goodness. We need the Steel Watcher to go down over there, not over here. Because then you could have blown all that up. Oh, yeah, yeah. If he goes down, if anybody goes down, we, we just lose it, really. But like a steel watcher going down in the doorway and blowing up a bunch of people. Honestly, it's not a bad move. It's just very unlikely. I would have to do so much damage to this one watcher. I mean, my paladin can do it, but he's maimed. Goodness. The miss though. That's, that was nice. Okay. Karlak has to rage again. This person just needs to get wrecked. Um, which is actually completely possible. High defense, though. Oh, that miss. That, that miss just made it so I couldn't do it. Um, damn it. That sucks. It's, I don't know. I, I don't think it's possible anymore for us to do this fight. We've, we've had too many bad rolls back to back. Oh, good miss, though. I just need my paladin to live to his turn, and I don't think it's going to. Oh, that insect swarm, they're so good. Maybe, maybe putting the insect swarm over here in the doorway might be better. I don't know. This freaking insect swarm is great. Charm, please. Made the save, unfortunately. He's just in the way. He might, my paladin's in a really bad spot. He's in the line of sight of all these rangers. I need him to move. I, could, I mean, I could cast, like, maybe. I actually don't know if I can cast Misty Step here. Okay. Whose turn is it? This one's turn. Where's she at? In there. She's going to move. Okay. Asterian's turn. I mean, Asterian killing this thing would be hyper good, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think I just need it that basically as low life as I can get. And he just did a huge amount of damage. So hiding successful and his turn. It's almost my paladin's turn. He's almost there. He's going to almost live. Don't you do it. Okay. Clash just took a bunch of damage. Very good. I need... I need to get invisible and I need to get invisible by killing him. That is what we need to do. Um, no, I need, I need a potion of speed. Do I have a speed potion? Speed. Do I have haste? Hmm. And haste is a, is an action. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Do I vow of enmity on this guy? I don't know if it's worth it because, well, I just need to critically hit and kill him to go invisible. We got, we got to, 
the only way to live in this fight, the only way to continue this fight is to do this in this specific order. Even though I'd rather use my vow of enmity on so many other things. Oh, you know what? I also could kill this one. Let's try it. Okay. We're now invisible. Thank God. Um, that might save him. The AOE attacks, not so much, but we'll see. We'll see. Got to get to Shadowheart's turn. Shadowheart's got to get away from over there. I mean, Shadowheart cast, um, what'd you call it? Uh, Misty Step with the scroll and get up to where Asterion is, maybe? That would be really good because then I can have her just healing us from up above. Because that would be a bonus. Um, I think, I think I do that. Who has the Misty Step scroll? Is it? Oh, she has it. Okay. Cast. To get up here. Is she able to do that without moving? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Heal everybody up, please. Oh my goodness, it didn't hit them because they're down there. Oh no, that sucks. Well, he's currently invisible, so. Hoping for the best. Karlak's taking half damage. Three attacks, really. Yeah, just stand there. Stand there and wonder where the paladin is. No! Damn it! Oh, he's dead. All right, that, that's the end of that fight. <laughs> that's it. That, that, GG. Because he's going to get ranged attacked now or attacked by this guy. And ooh, critical miss. Oh, my goodness. What? How could you jump up there? But I couldn't jump up there. That's bullcrap. That's all I got to say. That's bullcrap. Didn't more dudes just enter the fight? I think they did. All right, he's got three life remaining. Insect Plague, an absolute MVP here, but it's not going to be enough. If I also had like Gale with Fireball, maybe that would be the way to do it. Because then he could just like explode on these guys. Yeah, he's, he's down. That's <sighs> so stupid. That, I think that's the end of it, right? Because Shadowheart might be able to get him up, but it's not going to be enough. She's a maimed, so she can't move. So she has to attack this guy. Goodness. And the, the not healing everybody because they it looked like it was going to, but apparently not. It's not clear. Sometimes the UI needs to be a little bit more clear with that. We're just, we're gonna play out this round, but I'm pretty sure that's the end of it. Oh, saving throw on the concentration, double saving throw. Okay. Okay, that's one, we've killed something guys. We've done it. <laughs> Insect plague has killed something. Insect plague is gonna kill a couple things. All right, Asterion. I, Asterion needs to kill this guy. What, how is that provoking an attack of opportunity from a guy on a completely different level? I think that's bull crap. I mean, he's almost dead, but that is absolute bull crap. Let's, let's move over here, Asterion. Can you snipe him? Can you hit him? He can. That's also bull crap. <laughs> okay. Move over here. And turn. He shouldn't be able to jump in there. That's stupid. Carlac <laughs> <sighs> -like is about to go down. He made a death save. Failed it. Yeah, I can't help but think that Gale might be uh, something to tip the, the scales here because he could do so much AOE damage. I would just have him launching fireballs into there to begin with. 
And I would reposition that insect swarm, I think. Be a little bit better. Okay. She can move over here. And just hit everybody with a mass heal. And then... There's, that's the thing. I can't do anything here. It's like I can't put Blade Ward. I mean, I, mm, I could, but that's that's her action. That doesn't seem great. I'd almost rather have another Guardian. It sucks that my Paladin goes before Shadowheart in a way. All right, let's put the Guardian down here, I guess. Try it out. We'll see how this plays out with this stupid guy here. It gets three attacks, remember. Okay, good. Double misses. That, that felt nice. We're gonna lose Insect Plague soon. My I mean, 10 turns is a lot. It really is. But like, okay, imagine for a second <clears throat> that I could just absolutely nuke, like single target nuke one of those constructs and it blows up. Like, let's say it was one of the last acting constructs. And it made it so, yeah, every, that, you know, or it, rather it was the first acting construct. Let's say it was the first acting construct. It was right in the middle of everybody and we blew him up. It would do like 30 damage to everything, which might chain. That's the goal is to chain the reactions. To have one blow up and to get one enough to get low enough to blow up when it hits its turn, which blows up and does the same thing to the next guy and so on and so forth. And then you get rid of all the steel watchers. That's the plan, but it's just not working. It's just not working. We've, we've had too much of a breach here. I think part of it is I misplaced where my paladin was in a bad way. Can she actually kill this guy? She, she did it and died. <laughs> Not dead yet, three health, mind you. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and she just is about to lose everything, too. She's, like, right in range of all of the AoE ranged attacks and everything. I don't even know what that last thing was that hit her. Something, some crazy spell. Okay, let's try, let's try one last ditch effort here. Um... Da -da. Oh, he has a potion of speed. Oh, that would have been nice. It, it, I don't think it would have um, made the impact I wanted it to. It'll matter. Fire arrow, maybe. Shoot this in there. Come on. I, I can see a bunch of them. Hit them. So that would have killed one other guy. It's still not enough. And he can run over here and poke this guy, but it's not going to be enough to blow him up. The problem is they need to be at like 60 health or something stupid like that. Yeah, and that's not quite low enough. And then they're, they're down. This is the end. Yeah, there's no way. I mean, I tried. I think that I put up a pretty good fight there. But it just wasn't quite enough. And unfortunately now, Shadowheart's in a bad spot. I do think this is the correct spot to fight this, but we just need to be a little better at getting one of the Watchers down in the AOE so that we can do the chain reaction. Uh, maybe there's a way to do it with Gale. I'm not giving up yet on this idea. I think there might be a way to do it with Gale, but the problem is we have to get back to camp to swap Asterion out. I don't think we're doing that anytime soon. Okay, with a mass heal, she would get everybody up, but they're just gonna go down again, right? Um, so that doesn't really matter much. Which sucks. 
That has disadvantage. Does this have disadvantage? Six percent chance to hit, though. Oh my goodness. That's so stupid. Where did these people come from? That's a new person. This is like literally clearing the whole keep. 30 damage? What the heck? That thing just did 30 damage? It's insane. Oh, I forgot this person was still up. I should have firebolted them. I didn't even think about that. I can't even begin to fathom how much damage Insect Swarm has done, but look at this. Like, with Gale, just a fireball. Just boom. Blow them all up. Or he's got that other new crazy AoE ability, too. It's insane. Like, we could just... Oh. I think Gale is the... The way to turn... Like, Asterion's doing good damage, but he's not doing... He's not doing AoE madness. It would make the difference. And heck, we could even throw that grease bottle down beforehand. Right? These guys are just sitting in there because they don't know what to do. It's totally fine. And then he goes down too. Yep, okay. That's that. Mm, we're so close. We just need to tweak our strategy a little bit. 